Hi everyone, this is Daryl from Overmark and today I'm going to share with you how you can brainwash yourself into studying harder. Okay, now, now I know the word brainwash might sound a little too extreme, but what I'm actually going to share with you are more of mental strategies that you can adopt to motivate yourself when you're studying. The first strategy you can adopt is to make a public declaration. I found this to be the most effective method to keep myself motivated to achieve the task at hand. Making a public declaration would be announcing your intentions on social media, in a group chat with friends, or even to your family. The declaration can be something like, oh, I'm going to clock 6 hours of study time today. If you're posting an IG story, you can even timestamp it and give regular updates on how you're doing. This way, you're forcing yourself to be accountable for your actions, as everybody would know if you fail to live up to your promise. The interesting thing about human beings is that we're actually very afraid to be shamed. We do care about how others perceive us. So by making a public declaration, you're effectively putting yourself out there to be shamed if you fail to hit your target. On the flip side, it will also feel so good when you manage to achieve the target that you set out and have everyone acknowledge it. We are basically playing around with our psychology and using a public declaration to hold ourselves accountable. Give it a try and you'll be surprised how effective this method would be to motivate you to study harder. This leads me to my second strategy which is to study as a group. Humans are social creatures and we do value the relationship with our peers. We also deeply care about those around us. And if you have a group of close friends or study buddies, it's really the best strategy in order to keep each other motivated and to constantly look out for one another when they lag behind. While it's true that some of us might be independent learners, we can still benefit from being in a group setting where just being there physically present around our study buddies can help to motivate each other in a positive way. When you see others working hard, naturally you will also mimic the behaviour and before you know it, you're also studying hard as well. This is why there's a saying, you become who you surround yourself with. If you surround yourself with a group of peers who are all working hard towards a common goal, chances are that you will naturally do the same. Humans tend to have this behaviour known as the herd mentality. We tend to behave the same way the people around us behave. Therefore, if you want to brainwash yourself into studying harder, simply surround yourself with people who are willing to work just as hard as you, if not people who are willing to work harder than you. One of my most comforting thoughts when I was studying for my own O-levels and A-levels was that I had a few close study buddies that I knew would always be there for me regardless of what happens. Regardless of how I felt on a particular day, knowing that we promised to be at the library at 10am, I had to put aside my laziness and bring myself up there without excuses, otherwise I'll be letting them down. It was a painful journey of course, studying long hours to prepare for the national exam, but having a study buddy to take that journey together with made it so much better. Having that support group really makes a huge difference and they can inspire and motivate you to keep going even when you want to give up. Give it a try, it really helps. The last tip that I have to share is to think of your future self. Now I want you to visualize yourself 10 years later. Now looking back at your current self, make sure you do things that your future self will thank you for. Many of us give in to our desires to our current self, be it slacking off, playing games, or not taking our academics seriously. Now instead of looking at it in the present, try to adopt a different perspective and think of your future self looking at your current state. You never want to put yourself in a position in the future where you have regrets not working harder when you were younger. This could mean narrowly missing your dream university course because you failed to make the cut off points just by a little bit. You need to understand that life is a matter of choices, and the choices you make, makes you. You want to make decisions that your future self will not regret. Studying hard now can be quite torturous, I've been there too, but push on because your future self will actually thank you for working hard and making your future as bright as possible. To me, I never felt that grades define success, nor did I let it define who I am. What I can also safely tell you is that 90% of the content that I learned in school doesn't apply to my daily life anymore. But one undeniable fact is that by having a better academic score, it allows you to have more options in the future, whether it comes to choosing the JC that you want or the university course that you enroll in. By studying hard now, you open up more options in your future and put yourself in a position where you can actually decide your own fate. Trust me, you don't want to be stuck in a school that you don't want to be in, a university course that you're not interested in, or to be in a job that doesn't make you happy. Aside from academics, this can apply to life in general as well. 
This can cover areas like taking care of your health so that your future self can be pain free. The beauty of this is that you have full control over your future because it is the very decisions that you make today that will define the future you. So the next time when you're having an internal debate whether to study hard or not, think of what your future self would want you to do. And with that, I hope that you found the three study hacks helpful and give it a try to see if it works. Human psychology is an interesting one and if you understand how your brain works, you can actually motivate yourself to study harder. If you enjoyed today's video, do drop us a like and subscribe to our channels for more educational content in the future. And I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye!